going to start off by learning how to create a widget with a on off function and a demo function. First things we need to do is move over to the key settings tab where we'll be presented with a secondary interface where we can start specifying our widgets. In up the top here we will have a widget type which here we want to select lighting. This will now change the interface where we can now select our group address. For example here I will pick on the bathroom and where I can change the function to off slash on. Due to the fact that the uh, EDLT has two buttons per switch, one side will be off, the other side will be on. After this, we can now go down to our label type where we can specify a dynamic label, or in this case here, I will use static text. Here I can now type in generic text here of bathroom, and then I can move on to my next widget at this stage. I'll now demonstrate how to create a widget based off of a dimmer. So our things that first we need to select our lighting widget and then we need to select our set next group address where we can now use the standard function here of dimmer down slash dimmer up. The ramp out here does, uh, mentions how long it will spend ramping from 0 to 100 percent. We'll leave this at four seconds. Once again we can now specify a label here where we can specify in this case here, dining. Start by firstly creating the scenes on the EDLT. To do this, we must firstly open up the scene manager located down the bottom here. Once inside the scene manager, we should see what is a similar interface for previous switches programming the scenes in them. First things first, we need to add our groups of choice into our scene. I will pick on the first four I have listed here, and you'll notice it starts to fill up the first scene. Once done here, we can now apply a scene label. Here I'll call this one the first scene. I also need to apply a trigger group to it, which I have already pre-created, and an action selector. With the dynamic labels, these are used if you want to apply a different label to the same scene. Once moving on, we'll create the second scene. Here I'll use the remaining five group addresses and I will bring them all to 100%. I'll also once again apply a layer scene label to it. And the trigger group and appropriate action selector. Moving on to the third scene, I'll make these all of them. And I'll move them to approximately 50%. It is a case here of just building up your scenes as you usually would in the previous versions of the software. Once, once done, click OK to close the interface and we'll move on to applying these scenes and the actual buttons themselves. Now that we've created our scenes, we now need to apply these to our widgets. We, to do this, we need to select the widget type of scene, where we'll now be presented with this new interface. Our first key function here is cycle down, cycle up. This allows us to create a list of scenes which a single button will cycle through. To add them in, we need to just select how many we want, so in this case four for our four scenes, and then modify them appropriately. Now we have two options here called scene cycle and scene select. Scene cycle will cycle through the scenes one at a time applying them as we cycle through them. Scene select will allow us to cycle through the scenes but press to hold to apply them. This can be useful in separate situations. Label type down here we can set to scene label and it will follow through as we change the scenes going from first to second, third, fourth scene back to the start. Another main key function that we have here is off slash on. Now what this does is allows us to select the scene on our drop down list here 
I will click on the first scene and this allows us to turn the scene on setting the levels to the uh, level speed provided within the scene manager and then use the other button to actually switch the scenes off. This should now give us an overview of how to create scenes in the new eDLT. Thank you for watching.